What's up guys, my name is Bill. Welcome to my channel. So today I will be watching Super Hard 10 Mind Tricks. Yeah, 90% as you can see. 90% fail. Let's watch it. Okay, I'm gonna increase the volume. Oh, wait. Carrot. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait. I said carrot in my mind. That's so very cool. Yeah. You will never, you will never trick me with this. Look at this. Paris in the, the spring. So, but. And I'm sure you guys read Paris in the spring, right? Well, go ahead and read this again. Did it still say that? Well, then wake up, because if you're not close to What? Again? It says Paris in the, the spring. And I bet you guys didn't even notice the second word. Because I didn't, even after I read each word like four different times. And this was actually made by a professor of cognition psychology, which is basically about how our knowledge can make us more dumb. So, for example, we know it should be Paris in the spring, so we just automatically correct it in our minds, but actually that makes us less observant. And only around 4% of people get this first time, so if you did get this, then you're a really observant person. So, well done. So next up we have insane instructions. So you guys do have to do quite a few instructions for this one, but trust me, it's so worth it. Because this one is probably one of the craziest ones on this entire list. So pick a number between 2 and 8, I'm going to choose 6, then multiply it by 9, so that's 54. And then you should have two digits, so add them together, so 5 plus 4 make up 9. Then subtract 5, so that's going to leave us with 4. And then pick a letter to go with your number, so I'm going to choose D. And then think of a country that starts with that letter, so I'm going to say Denmark. And then think of an animal starting with the letter of the country, so an animal starting with K, so I'm going to say kangaroo. And now think of a colour starting with the last letter of the animal, so that's O, I'm going to go with orange. And if you guys chose the same thing as me, or something different, then I bet you guys got the answer of an orange kangaroo in Denmark. And I had to put this one on this list because of how accurate and specific this is. Like, I have no idea how this works or how insane you have to be to come up with something like this. And if this didn't work for you, then that's really weird because only 2% of people aren't affected by this. So try this I didn't understand! What? No. No. No, not again! Don't repeat 
because of the odds. The I already know it because I'm smart. Okay. No, not again. I no. <laughs> Yeah, I think 45. Oh yeah, it says 45 here. I'm just kidding. I I said 34. So I'm wrong. And I bet most of you got 45. And that's because the number of the four always adds up to the next number in the sequence. For example, 6 plus 11 makes 17, and then 17 plus 11 makes 28. So it's like your mind subconsciously adds up the numbers. So this one basically shows how quickly your mind can think without you even making it. So unlike all the others, this one kind of makes you feel smart instead of dumb and confused. And this number sequence can go on forever, as you can see here. But most people don't say it right after 45, so I just did it up to that point. And around 80% of people say 45. And almost everyone does this subconsciously. So who knows, maybe we're all secretly great at math. And I say secretly because I know I'm not good in real life. So coming up next, we have number three. So this is another number trick. And this one isn't so much of a mind trick, but more of a visual trick. But you can still fool a ton of people with this. So all you need to do is pick any number and then follow the line to the number on the opposite side. And then take your two numbers and subtract the small one from the big one. And I bet the answer you get is six. So I'm going to choose eight and then that goes to two. So eight minus two is six. But there's a catch. Because this is being made so smartly, it means that any combination you choose, you'll always get six. For example, if I take 12 and that goes to six. Look at this. All that you subtracted, um, I think, yeah, look at that. It's always six, duh. Nobody knows that, except for me. Then 12 minus 6 is 6. So yeah, the answer is guaranteed to be 6 every time. Now that doesn't stop you from fooling a ton of people with this. And because all you need for this trick is a circle with 12 numbers in it, you can use any clock. And the guy who worked at the clocks do this must have been really smart, because I have no idea the clocks did this before. And before you guys start commenting saying you didn't get 6, well, you can't, because it's a lie. So don't even try that shit. So next up we have memorized names. So this is a Okay. So i people get wrong. So I'm going to show 6 people here and their names. So I'm going to give you a second. Ben, Mike, Ryan, Matt, Ted, Bill. And now here's the test. Can you remember the names of these three people? And no going back to check, that's cheating. So it turns out that only 4% of people can actually get this right. And the correct answer is Ryan, Ted, and Bill. And that's because these are the least memorable ones on here because the other ones stand out in some way. For example, the red one is for my catching color and Ben, the other yellow one, is to the left. So yeah, so yeah it just goes to show that boring people don't stand out even in cartoon form. <laughs> But yeah, guys, don't feel too bad for Ryan, Ted, and Bill, because it made a lot of people seem really dumb, including me, because I didn't get this when I first tried it, but comment if you did. So next up, we have Duck or Rabbit. So this is a really cool visual mind trick, and you're definitely going to get into a lot of arguments if you show this to your family and friends, and I'll explain why right now. So when you look at this image from this way, then you probably see a duck, right? And there you have it, there's a duck. Nah, I'm just kidding guys, of course there's more, because if you look at it this way, you'll probably see a rabbit, because the eye is the same on each side, but the duck's beak can also be rabbit ears, depending on what side you look at, and I know I told oh, you that yeah. the are in the image, but some people don't know, and they only look at it from one way, That's, yeah, this oh, is a wait, 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 I'm gonna show you something that you don't know, why this stupid, stupid lying thingy, okay, it's a rabbit ear, yeah. So let's go to the next one. Blah. And it has done for over 100 years because it was made in 1889 by an American psychologist called 
That was confusing. Yeah. So, goodbye, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe and comment. Hashtag Milk and Squad if you subscribe. Bye, guys.